We are in the hot seat today, bitches. I'ma make a fucking feel me. Said I'ma do a broke bitch filthy. I'ma make a fuck nigga feel me. Welcome back to my video. Um, back to my video. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Um, I apologize for looking like a hot mess right now. I just got off work. Uh, this is supposed to look cute, but it's not. But we're just gonna fucking go with it. Um, so today's story, as you guys can see, is about, um, it's kind of a rant and a story at the same time, but it's gonna be predominantly a story just because the story takes up so much time. But, um, I was about to film and then I forgot that I left my weed at home. Not at home, in my car. So, I... How do I even start this? Like, where exactly do I start this? Like, how do I begin this? I don't even know, like, where to begin. So I'm just going to fucking throw a splotch in there and see if I can fucking see if that's going to make sense to you guys. So first off, um, I do have a Facebook account. I don't link my Facebook to this YouTube channel just because of the fact that I do have family members. And for what I'm about to tell you is the exact is the exact reason why I just rather not just share like my Facebook on the here because again I just have family members so I want to say like last month I went on Facebook and I made a little a little rant whatever basically explaining or expressing that I don't appreciate it when stupid childish men start getting to my dms or start getting to my private messages and they start messaging me shit messaging me about you know just basically like trying to get at me at a certain way like even though it's pretty evident that i'm not interested in them i don't know if it's gonna make sense but the video the, not the video but the post i'm actually gonna screenshot and i'm gonna show you guys what it is so you guys could read for yourselves so you could see where i was going but basically in a nutshell i was just saying that you know i don't want the messages I don't want I don't want to be hit on through an inbox you know what I mean so yeah so I went on Facebook and I was just talking about that and I was just going on like this little rant whatever um and I shit you not guys maybe like less than five minutes after I post that on on Facebook about like basically saying like don't come at me sideways especially like messaging me and shit like that some ignorant bitch fucking not like not like a female it's a dude um some ignorant bitch fucking goes on it's like oh make that ass clap for the one time or some other shit I, I don't i don't get it i don't understand like how the fuck you could read that post and then you somehow get enough balls to fucking write that shit on my fucking i i will never understand that i will never understand that but yeah he goes on to say that and i was just like what the fuck like i'm over here reading this and i'm at work and i was like what the fuck make matters worse one of my family members i mean i have a couple of family members that are on my um facebook that they you know they'd cancel my page we're friends or we're family on there or whatever um one of my family members saw this and it was starting to go back and forth between the guy guys this wasn't just like oh it was my mom it was like my auntie fucking grandma or sister whatever this is like this was a family member that i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't really know all that well i don't know all of my family members there's like a whole big old family history like way back when so i'm just now needing to know um my mother's side of the family so <laughs> when I see that, you know, a family member that doesn't, you know, like, let's just be honest, they don't really know me and I don't really know them. For him to see that and to, for him to see me getting harassed like that, it's not like I was personally embarrassed, but like I was embarrassed because of the fact that he, he that he did have to see that. Because now, the next time I see him, he's going to be like, hey, I remember you, you know, you fucking have that one dude post some shit on your fucking wall. Like, you see what I mean, guys? Like, it, it just, it just doesn't. And like, that type of shit is like, what the fuck? So they were going back and forth for a bit. Eventually, I just blocked the dude because like, obviously, like, they were going to go back and forth. And the guy was like, e my family member <laughs> literally told him, like, that's my niece that you're talking about. And he was still... 
this dude was still going talking about like how you know he wanted to see me dance or some shit like that or i don't fucking know as far as i'm concerned i don't know who the fuck he is because i looked at his profile and i looked at his shit and i was like i have no idea who the fuck you are when that incident was going on i immediately thought of my facebook stalker now he, I consider him a fucking stalker just because of the fucking shit that he did, the degree that he went, the fucking step, the levels that this dude took to, 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 I don't know, to get my attention, to, to fuck it. I, I couldn't even tell you what the fuck he did. Like, I'm just so lost and befuddled on, on what this dude's actions were. That's what I'm going to talk to you guys about. I'm going to talk to you guys about the time that I was stalked, my Facebook stalker, the time that I was like fucking harassed however the fuck you guys want to say it but i'm just gonna talk about that because again it's gonna go into a big old rant but let me get this story out the way i want to say and i'm gonna include screenshots of of everything so you guys can see for yourself and mind you these messages are not altered in any way i did not delete my part i didn't you know and if there were messages deleted it's probably because there were previous messages where he did try to get a hold of me and I just wasn't, I, I didn't, I didn't want to talk, you know what I mean? Um, I probably just deleted it, you know, just to get it out of my box, whatever. But other than that, I have not entertained this dude to, to, to make him think what he follow what he did in the following was okay. It started like last year in 20, yeah, 2017. I want to say maybe like in February, it started interaction with me around February and this guy's name is Sean. I'm not gonna like take out his name I'm not gonna change his name or protect his privacy because number one he invaded my privacy So if you're gonna invade my privacy, I'm gonna invade yours And this is this is how it's gonna go down any other time any other story time or, or you know Video that I do where I tell you guys about like my past and stuff like that I most of the time I am gonna change their names because again like I'm gonna you know I don't want to bring it down to that level but if you bring it to me at a certain level it's gonna get matched you feel me so his name is Sean let me just get that out the way um, and he messaged me like a couple of times maybe I said hi once and did not respond. I don't fucking know. I, I had a really bad habit of back then, especially last year, where I would like, I would respond to anybody, you know, like, oh, somebody best be, hey, to be like, hi, what's up? You know what I mean? Like, let's just have cool conversations, you know? This was like, honestly, like my last straw before I stopped doing that because you just you just invite fucking weirdos when you do that shit like no no sense in, in trying to have a conversation with people anymore no new friends fuck that shit i went through my dms and i was looking through and i forgot what reason exactly like i said i was probably looking through to see if my friends were fucking messaging me some shit and i saw sean sent me a a, a question not a question yeah it was a question um Asking like if I if if I was okay or some shit like that some shit like that like are you feeling okay or is everything okay or something and, and it was like a couple of days like the day that I read it he sent it like a couple of days prior and I looked at it and I was like okay should I really like answer this should I really like fucking go there and ask like even though it's probably gonna be some stupid or some fucking corny or shit. So I decided, fuck it, why not? So I had my friend there and I was like, bro, like, listen to this shit. So I, I, you know, I told what he said, like, oh, are you okay, whatever. And then I responded back, like, yeah, like, why you ask? And he said, well, a couple of days ago, you know, your caption was talking about giving a guy chances and how he still did you wrong and da 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 da. I know what post, at, when, right when he said that, I knew what post that he was referring to. It was like, what was it? I'm pretty sure I still have it on my Instagram, but it was like this picture and I cap and I captured it. It was it was lyrics to a song, essentially is what it was. It was lyrics to a song and that's all it was. You know, everybody does that. They post a picture, they post and they put lyrics and shit like that. It's like nothing new, nothing fucking for it. This isn't some new age shit, some new millennial shit. This is like classic, classic cliche shit that everybody does. So I responded back saying like, yeah, it's just lyrics to a song, no big deal. LOL, smiley face, whatever the fuck. And he was like, oh, okay, good. He's like, because, you know, you're, 
ear. I don't fucking know. Like again, you guys are gonna see the screenshot. I remember him saying something like, I can see it in your eyes that you've been hurt before. Blah, 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 blah. Some fucking Drake ass bullshit that like did, honestly did not fucking work. One, I'm not even a big fan of Drake. But like number two, do not come at me. Try and be all fucking corny. Like I don't fuck with. I probably respond with some other shit. And then eventually like, this dude's like, oh, you should let me take you out, and blah, 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 la, 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 la. And I was like, okay, like, whatever. Like, I didn't say okay, like, yeah, let's do it. I just said some other shit. I think even at one point, I think I said I had a man or something. Basically, I shot this dude down, okay? I was just like, nope, not happening, not today, nope. And I scroll up. <clears throat> because my friend asked me, he's like, do you know this dude? Like, what the fuck makes him think he can just talk to you like that? For those of you who don't know me or <clears throat> you remember me from high school, let me just give you this updated version of me. Let me give you the fucking Mimi 2.0, Michelle 2.0. Let me tell you guys something. I have a resting bitch face. You guys can see it in my pictures. You guys can see it all the time. No matter where I go, I always have a resting bitch face. I always look like a fucking pissed. I always look like I got a fucking attitude with the world. I look like somebody pissed at my fucking Cheerios. Like, I just look like I'm fucking mad at the world all the time. Even right now, I swear to God, I'm in a good mood, but this, this is just my fucking face. So, you know, and, and, and people typically, especially dudes, don't really approach me unless they're fucking ballsy enough to do it. But nine times out of ten, most people will not approach me because I don't look approachable. And I know this, and I am okay with it. I like it, because guess what? That's less drama for me, so I think. Okay, so we're back. I had to take a quick phone call because my dad called me because, you know, that's what dads do. Dads called their daughter. Where the fuck was I? Oh, that's right. So I showed my friend the previous messages, whatever. And we, you know, we looked at it, we talked about it, whatever. And then I was like, wait a minute. I've seen this name before. And my friend's like, Have you, like, let me check another inbox. So I went to Facebook, <clears throat> correction, I went to Facebook Messenger because, you know, Facebook decided to have this whole bullshit thing where I gotta download two apps. Two fucking apps. Now I gotta download the fucking Facebook app and the fucking Messenger app. Why the fuck is the messages separate from Facebook if the messages is part of Facebook? I don't fucking get it. If somebody knows why the fuck that is what it is, can you please explain it to me? So I go to my messages. And it doesn't even take long for me to scroll because I immediately found Sean's name. I was like, what the fuck? I tapped on his name. It was fucking unopened. Like, <laughs> again, everything that I'm saying here is the truth or is going to be backed up by the truth. Meaning, what I'm saying is not a lie. And if I say something wrong right here, you guys are going to see for yourself. I was probably off about a little detail. But essentially, this is what happened. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna fucking embellish on a fucking story and fucking make this shit up. This is not fucking made up. His messages were unopened. And when I open the motherfuckers, I will let the screenshots speak for themselves. Because there is nothing I can say to show y'all, okay? Now, did I answer to him at, at one point? Yes, I did. Did I make it seem like I wanted to hang out with him? No. There is nothing in those messages at all that y'all have seen to, to make anybody believe that I wanted to meet this dude, to hook up with this dude, to fuck this dude, nothing, absolutely nothing. I go back to my Instagram ideas, I'm like, what the fuck? And I went back to Instagram and I was looking at his pictures. I was going through his profile and I was just like, what the, f I was like, what the fuck? It just looks like shit. Like I didn't look through it. Now when I say look through it, meaning like I just literally skimmed. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, car shit, whatever the fuck it is. Like this shit's boring. I don't get it. Like I don't, whatever. So I went back to the messages and I was reading them again. I was like, 
I don't know, like I was just so confused as opposed to like why this dude was so intent on talking to me. And my friend is over there fucking around and saying like, oh, you're a pretty girl, you know, he wants to see if he can talk to a pretty girl. It doesn't matter. Like at one point I was not messaging. Like this dude did it for a year. Damn near a year if not more. I'm not too sure on the dates right now. But it was almost, if it was, if, if it wasn't, Almost, if it wasn't that, if it wasn't a year, it was almost a year. Meaning like this dude was going on months at a time. And months at a time, he was getting swerved, curved, dissed, and missed. So I'm looking at this shit at fucking Instagram DMs and I'm just like, what the fuck is his profile picture? I don't know if y'all caught that shit, but if you were to go back and you were to look, at his profile picture and zoom in. I don't know if that's fucking possible. I don't know, maybe take a screenshot of a screenshot. His profile picture looks like a fucking ultrasound picture. It looked like an ultrasound picture. And I was, I literally, that's the first thing I told my friend. I was like, is this an ultrasound picture? Like, what the fuck? I can't read this shit, but I have been to a couple of baby showers to know that this resembles a fucking ultrasound picture. I took the screenshot and then I zoomed in on the fucker and I was like, and holy shit. It's a fucking, I was like, wait a minute, hold on. And this is when I didn't even finish my sentence with him. This is exactly that moment when my instincts kicked in, when my womanly instincts come in, what is instilled in every single woman when she is born. I investigated. So I went back to fucking Facebook, fucking typed in that motherfucker's name, and fucking looked at his profile, and bitch, I found the fucking holy grail. I found the fucking treasure box. I found the lucky charms. I found the fucking... So when I go on this dude's profile, okay, <laughs> um, I see, like, him... And I see, you know, I think it was like the, the what, do you, what the fuck you call that shit? The, the cover photo? Whatever the fuck. Whatever that fucking picture is behind the fucking profile picture, okay? And it's him and this and this woman, okay? And I was like, oh, hell. So I'm going through, I'm fucking looking for that fucking ultrasound picture. And sure as shit, I fucking found that ultrasound picture. Because his woman, his pregnant woman, his girlfriend... Tagged him in a post saying, oh, we're welcoming a son to our family. Lord. <laughs> it wasn't like just like their kid. It was their first kid together, but she had a prior child. And they had been in a relationship for, I think it was about a year when I looked at it. This motherfucker has been trying to wine and dine me. Talking about trying to take me out, talking about how he could treat me better, how he could, you know, all this other bullshit, yada yada fuckboy shit. And he has had a whole ass girlfriend this whole time. Mind you, again, the fuck? That's some sticky shit. She's pregnant with his child, his first child. And you're over here talking to me. So I did more research. They live in the same fucking town as me. His girlfriend works at fucking Target where I fucking go and get my makeup and shit. Just, just, just fuck my life up, okay? So later on that night, I was just, you know, fucking sitting there all stoned and I was like, fuck, like, what do I do? Like, this dude's always gonna keep messing with me. Like, I, like, I was fuming uh, when I found this shit out because, see, here's the thing. Again, she, when, when, <sighs> When you're in a relationship, it's sacred in itself. Like, you're not supposed to be stepping out of a relationship and shit like that. But obviously, not everybody does that. And I feel like that is more forgivable. And I use that term very loosely. I feel that it's more forgivable, forgivable than as opposed to cheating on somebody that you are going to have a child with when you are already married. You know what I mean? When you guys are basically, like, starting that family, starting that life together. That's when it's just like, what the fuck? And to me, I know that if, it, if I was in her position, if I was in her shoes and my dude was over there fucking talking to some fucking young bitch over here, because they're, they're a little bit older than me, not by much, but they're a little bit older than me, but he's over there talking to some young bitch while I'm over here pregnant with this kid, I would feel some type of way. 
but I would also want to know. So that's my thought process. So when I decided, you know what, if this was me, I would want to know. I took screenshots of everything. I know, fuck, here we go. I'm about to fucking expose myself for this shit. I took screenshots of everything. And I messaged her, I think it was like 11 o'clock at night or something like that. I was just like, hello, you know, you don't know me. I'm going to include the screenshots, but I'm going to summarize it like, hello, you know, you don't know me. And, you know, I just became aware of you, but, you know, your man basically has been messaging me. I have not entertained it and yada, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Again, so here are the screenshots. And just in case you guys didn't read all of it or, you know, whatever, don't want to read all of it. She was basically saying like, you know, like, well, I'm going to have his child and, you know, and blah, 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 blah. Like she would just say some other shit. And, 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 you know, she said, I think she said, thank you. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt and just say, she told me, you know, thank you for telling me, you know, but why didn't you come to me sooner and da, da, da. Now, when she, here's, here's the thing that stood out to me the most. When she asked why I didn't tell her sooner, why I didn't come to her sooner, and I explained it in the nicest way I can, let me tell y'all something. If your man, for future references for anybody who watches this, this shit, if your man messages me, and I don't respond, and they continue to message me, that is you and yo man's problem. I got nothing to do with it. If I'm not entertaining it in the way where it's like, oh, you know, yeah, let's hang out, you know, da 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 da. Now, if I said that shit and she was like, what the fuck, you know, that would be a different story. But again, it was just like, whatever. And I told her for the jump, I was like, look, I wasn't really paying attention. I thought this was just like some fucking casual conversation, drive by ass conversation, nothing more to it. Obviously, I did. I haven't met up with them. I don't even know what, you know, I could have fucking picked them out in a fucking lineup. And the way that she just kept going, you know what I mean? Okay, first of all, I felt bad telling her in a time in which she was pregnant because pregnancy is a very delicate thing. You know, you don't really want to mess with a woman's emotions like that because, you know, she has a, a, a growing child inside of her, you know? So it's, 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 a, it's a body changing process and, you know, you don't want to put too much on your body. I felt bad telling her but again if that was me and I was in her position I would want to know the same shit I would want to be told I wouldn't you know I don't give a fuck you know let me handle it you know thank you for telling me but now I'm gonna handle my business but the way that she just kept on trying to push it on me she kept trying to push it on me she kept trying to like basically like try, how I took it was she was trying to insinuate that this was essentially my fault for like she didn't apologize like oh my god i'm so sorry that he was bothering you and da 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 like it was like she did not see the fact that this 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 dude the father of her future child um well i'm pretty sure she gave birth at this point because she, she was pretty far along um when we talked but the fact that like she kept like, I don't know. Like, again, I just felt like she was trying to blame me. And, like, I read it to I read it to my parents. Um, and I told them about it. Like, we all, we sat there and we fucking laughed about it. The whole situation, like, she was laughable and he was laughable. He was laughable for fucking, like, still kept trying, even though, like, it wasn't going anywhere. And she was laughable just on how she was reacting. Because at no point, like, again, like, I'm coming to you woman to woman and I'm telling you like look this is what your man's doing this is what he said I sent you screenshots you know like I'm coming to you about this and you over here trying to come at me come back at me like you had to speak to me about it like you had to approach me about it when it wasn't like that you feel me but now you guys are probably wondering why the fuck I called him my stalker my harasser and shit like that if you guys look back in the messages, and if you look real closely, and again, I apologize if you weren't able to, but in the messages, the DM specifically, he told me, you know, 
you should always be smiling, yada, yada, yada. You know, he's like, I remember, you know, when I would come in there and he would always be so nice to me. Now, I worked out of town from where, you know, from where I lived, probably like 15 to 20 minutes or so. This dude worked in town. This dude lived in town. So what reason would you have to conveniently go to this town 15 to 20 minutes and conveniently stop at the exact same gas station that I worked at? Because I worked at a gas station. I worked at TA. Um, what made you, like, maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe this is just one big fucking coincidence. I don't believe so. But, again... If you live in town and you work in town, why are you going 15 to 20 minutes to another town to go to a gas station? Okay, you're traveling. Why go to that one where there's a long line of gas stations left to right before you get to that one? Why? Why? There's a gas station prior to before leaving that town, and there's tons of gas stations before you get to the... But you pick this one, and then, and then, you just so happen to have me as your cashier. No. No. That's fucking creepy. That is so fucking creepy. Now, before you guys ask, before you guys ask, okay, well, how did he know where you worked, and blah, 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 it's on there on my Facebook. It shows, I don't have my current job on there just because of fucking shit like this, but... It had my job on there. So that's why I don't believe it's a fucking, a big old fucking coincidence. Like, I just don't believe that. That dude with intent showed up to my job, to my workplace. And went specifically to me and conversated with me. And he did this knowing that I did not entertain him. Knowing that I went, you know, that... He would go months talking to pretty much a ghost inbox, a ghost message box, a ghost DM. Because I wasn't responding at some points. Like, majority of the time, I, again, I responded a couple times, but nothing about it was promising enough that, like, oh, you know, it was literally like a conversation never fucking heard from me again. Like, it was to the point where, like, I would open it and then just, just leave it unread. And then I switched it up and just fucking just left that shit unread. So, no, guys, no. That was not a fucking coincidence. He deliberately came to my job, deliberately came up to me specifically, and apparently had a conversation with me. Now, this is this is where it makes it scary for me. Because when I worked at TA, again, I was a cashier. Like, you see hundreds of people. It's a fucking travel spot. Like, it's better than that. It's a travel spot. Travel stop. So there are tons of people. I probably saw thousands of fucking people. And he was one of the thousands. Like, this dude, if he wasn't fucking right in the mind, like, seriously, not fucking right in the mind, he could have probably fucking hacked my ass if he wanted to. Like, I, you know, I'm not trying to make it dramatic or anything, but this is what you, but this is what I think of, okay? If somebody could go to that level to show up, you know, to not only just keep messaging, you know, a clearly non-responsive person, but then to show up at their job and then have the balls to go up to them exactly. Like, that does not look right. That's not going to look right. It's not going to sit right. And for me, it doesn't look right. Like, meaning, like, it don't look right to me because, again, that's too big of a coincidence. You had all these motherfucking gas stations prior to this one and then just before you leave town... Because it's, because the TA is more go, going towards out of town. There's another gas station. Why the fuck would you do that? You know what I mean? And then come up to me. Like, that's just fucking creepy. That's just weird. That's weird. And then, that be, and then for the other, his lady, his girlfriend, you know, the mother of his child over here is over here trying to fucking push blame on me. Like, do you not see the fucking level of creepiness that yo man, yo man did confused i really am confused like how the fuck jesus christ like how the fuck did you try to flip that shit on me like she legit tried that you guys and and this is why i'm not mad at it 
Um, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth. I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and say she's wrong and, you know, she's not. Blah, blah. I'm just saying, you know, she's more than entitled to feel how she feels. But, and here's the thing. I will never be worried about women like her. Women where the facts are in front of their face and they're just blatantly choosing to ignore it. I, I'm, I'm never going to fear anything coming back on me like that because she, if she if she you know were to do that shit where you know it's like oh this little hoochie ass bitch is over here talking to my mans whatever blah 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 you know where they just say a whole bunch of shit and let's just say she would tag me in it I wouldn't even be shook I wouldn't even be fucking worried because all I gotta do is post these exact same fucking screenshots and y'all will see just like just like I saw, just like any fucking normal sane ass person would see. I did not want his attention. Like I, I didn't, I didn't want your man. I didn't want him. I didn't want to fuck him. I didn't want to meet him. I didn't want to be fucking friends with him. I wanted nothing with your man. Your man, on the other hand, wanted some shit with me. What? I don't know. He could have wanted a friendship. He could have wanted to fuck. He could have wanted to fucking chop my body into fucking pieces and put me in the goddamn freezer for all I know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking care. I didn't fucking care to find out, you know? And I think that's that's what I try to push through to her. I, again, like, I just, I don't get it. I will never understand it. If I know a dude is gonna have a child, they're immediately off limits. Like, I'm not gonna do that. Y'all are together and shit like that. And you guys are gonna expect a baby. I'm not gonna do that. In all actuality, I prefer not to get involved with with people with children because I just, I don't think I'm appropriate to be around kids. I mean, as you guys can see, like, what the, f I mean, I cuss like a fucking sailor. You know, I'm not child appropriate. So, like, I'm not gonna, you know, waste somebody's time and getting to know somebody you know and i don't feel like changing my ways if that makes sense you know like i do have friends who who do have ch you know who do have kids and i'm you know i'm respectful around them you know i i you know clear my mouth and you know we good i've been around kids but as far as like me dating somebody or being involved you know and stuff like that at this point in time i just don't think again i don't think i'm appropriate to to do that and i don't want to waste anybody's time by you know, being inappropriate and being my rambunctious self. You know what I mean? Like, we can be friends, we can be cool, stuff like that. And maybe, you know, when I fucking mature, maybe like a thousand more levels, maybe, you know, we can try something out there. But at this point, I just, I just don't think I'm appropriate for, for you know, for a relationship like that. You know, it, it's me. It's not them. It's literally me. You know, that's, you know, because things like that, they don't, they don't bother me. You know, it, it just doesn't. You know, like if, if somebody, if I were to get involved with somebody who had a child, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh off limits like that like no it's just because again it comes back to me not being appropriate you know like i fucking i smell like weed 24 7 um i be fucking posting rambunctious ass shit fucking people dancing bitches dancing dudes fucking grinding and shit like i just do and i just i feel like you know when a child is involved and stuff like that you know it's you 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 can't you can still live your life but you you just can't be inappropriate you know you can't be you know fucking immature like that you know so um and i'm still immature so and you know I, I, that's how that's how i view you know i hope i don't offend anybody with with what i said um i try to make it as clear as possible like what i'm trying to say again it's not them it's me it's literally me i just don't see myself being appropriate but getting back to it i just want to say this like out of everything like i just i just fucking can't you know, I don't, I almost don't want to look at my messages anymore. I almost don't want to look at my DMs anymore. I almost don't want to fucking go on, I, I really don't even want to go on Facebook as much because, again, I don't want to see all these fucking messages because it's not just this dude. Sean is not the only dude who has messaged me repeatedly even though I haven't responded, you know what I mean? Um, there are others out there, you know, not out there, but in my... In my, in my DMs and PMs and, and message boxes and stuff like that. And I just, I don't want it. You know, I don't, I don't get it. If I were to advise anybody for men, women, boys, girls, if I were to advise y'all of anything, if somebody doesn't message you back like after a month and you could tell that they've been active, don't message them again. Like, don't. 
like especially if you're trying to initiate conversation like don't just don't fucking do it don't do it and don't let some fucking pretty basic ass bitch make you do some fucking stupid psychotic shit and fucking show up to her goddamn work don't ever show up to anybody's work anybody's work i don't care if they're your man if they're your woman if there's somebody that you're crushing on do not show up to their job unless it is okay unless you were invited to do so because i don't no 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 because guess what they fucking if y'all see each other and y'all interact it's gonna be fucking awkward it's all gonna be fucking weird because the person working there is gonna think like holy shit you fucking stalk my shit and found my job and really fucking came here and then you're just gonna be there like holy fuck i hope she doesn't see me as a fucking stalker you know what i mean like let's just avoid it let's just not show up to anybody's jobs that's just never a good situation let's not surprise anybody at their jobs let's just not do creepy shit mind your business be loyal to your partners don't come bothering me with this shit and we all be good you know and then you know i won't make a video about it that is all. I hope you guys enjoy this story. Hopefully I can get this shit uploaded today. If not, hopefully by then tomorrow. I am very pleased with myself because I didn't look like fucking utter trash. Um, I am a little oily in some places, but you know.